Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. Today, I'm exploring a cutting edge tool that breaks all boundaries. From crafting portraits of your favorite politicians and celebrities, to illustrating your beloved fictional characters, this AI magic knows no limits. And I mean, no limits. This tool is uncensored. It allows you to even upload your own images and uh, convert them uh, using various AI filters and techniques. Very easy, very simple. And did I mention it's free? It's pretty cool. Let me show you how to use it. So this tool is called Focus. So put into Google Focus. that's Focus with three O's, and then G-I-T-H-U-B, which spells GitHub. There we go. Click the first link. Okay, and in the top right, select Sign Up. It's completely free to sign up. Go through these processes and sign up for a free account. Okay, now that you're signed in on this page again that you clicked on, as well, these are some, some examples, scroll all the way down to about the middle area here below download and where it says collab, just click that link open and collab. And this will launch the tool in your browser. Okay, you don't have to download anything and you're ready to go. So when you're on the screen, go to the top right here and select connect. Okay, when you get the green check mark, go over to this side over here and hit the play button. Run anyway, and then wait for the tool to load itself. It will likely take about 10, or about 10 minutes, depends on your computer and configuration, but about five to 10 minutes to, um, uh, to fully load up. So let it go through its process. Okay, so after it's done loading everything, um, it will, you know, you'll see a uh, download and uh, it will generate a bunch of uh, information. You will want to click on this link where it says running on public URL. You want to click on that link right there, and then it will take you right to the image generator. So with this tool, I was able to upload pictures of myself and then the AI, uh, it would uh, generate um, uh, new portraits uh, uh, of me based on my images and based on other generative elements. And uh, it's pretty cool, you can actually, this is sped up just a little bit, uh, but uh, you can see the uh, pictures come together. Um, there, it can make a lot of mistakes along the way, and there's lots of uh, 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 parameters. Uh, you, you know, you just click on uh, input image, um, and then image prompt, and then you uh, upload your images into there. Um, you can play with uh, uh, settings tab, the style tab, on the advanced tab, um, but uh, default settings, you're already flying out the gate. So here I was masking out uh, an image of a business guy that this tool had created itself. So that image itself is created, but I created a mask using the inpatient uh, tool here. And then I went to um, developer debug mode control and I selected mixing image prompt and inpatient. And then what it does is it uh, mixes your own image that you have in the image prompt with this one. And uh, there's some pretty cool, so it's like a mix of that image there of me and, uh, and this AI guy. So here's the final results of that one. It's pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. <laughs> I asked it to draw Homer Simpson slapping Mickey Mouse and um, you know, it, 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 it tried. Uh, it did uh, some funny things. It drew a uh, Homer Simpson and drew like a, Simpsons 3D version of Mickey Mouse, um, and uh, it, it did some other funny portraits there. It did like a, a goof goof troop version of Homer with Marge. Um, uh, it's a little silly, um, and I didn't play with any of the advanced uh, prompts and options, but I probably could have dialed it in much better, but uh, pretty interesting. I'm prompting for Homer Simpson to play catch with Donald Duck. Brought up these uh, weird images. But, uh, you know, it did its effort and uh, it tried drawing what, what it could. And this is another example of it using my image um, mixed with another one to uh, um, create an a AI composite image of, um, of kind of me and kind of an AI generated office guy to create a brand new image. For what it does, just right off the bat with the default settings, it's pretty cool. You can customize a ton here. I did a couple of funny ones too. And then sometimes it like randomly stick other people into the drawing. And then other times it like draw two or three versions of me. And I think that's like a female version of me. I was, uh, was going a little haywire, I think. 
yeah, it had no problem at all taking like the official Superman logo. And I uh, wanted it to generate an image of the Superman logo melting. And, um, you know, it did a pretty fine job. Yeah, the generated images are pretty high quality. So yeah, this using this tool on Colab uh, for free lasted for like a solid hour, one or two hours of just generating images and playing around. And um, uh, but then uh, you know you need to buy credits and stuff. So um, uh, there's also another way to load this tool to load it locally on your on your computer hardware and stuff, um, or your laptop or whatever you have. So um, uh, click and subscribe, and uh, I'll show you how to do that in my next video, and I'll explore even more drawings. So yeah, thanks for watching my video, and um, uh, I'll see you in the next one.